Each year, Waldorf varsity athletes need to be cleared and deemed eligible for their upcoming season. The only thing I know about NAIA eligibility is I filled out paperwork at the start of the, my freshman year, and then every year, Dr. Ryder comes in and I fill out a paper, piece of paper and sign it with my name and date, and that's all I know. Dr. Cynthia Ryder is Waldorf's NAIA faculty athletic representative. I like doing the position very, very much. You have to be uh, pretty detail-oriented with, with all of the statistics coming from NAIA. Even though the job demands attention to detail, mistakes can still be made. We had a couple of hiccups with softball. Before each season, a final form has to be signed by the faculty representative, the athletic director, the registrar, and the head coach. Three administrators signed and one did not. The Waldorf softball team was forced to forfeit eight games. Waldorf Athletic Director Denny Jerome says the eligibility team is taking corrective measures to make sure it doesn't happen again. In life, you have to trust people around you, and, and I've got a lot of confidence in, in our uh, eligibility team, and, and they've done a great job. Uh, but sometimes we have to still check and make sure that, uh, uh, follow up and make sure everybody's done things right. And so, so we will, we will uh, work on that. The eligibility team appealed the punishment, but their appeal was denied. It goes without saying, I feel... I feel horrible about, about um, you know, the, the situation. The forfeitures hindered the softball team's record, but they still have a shot at a conference championship. Danica Cheney, Wall TV News.